Alrighty, fellow travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Don, and today we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So first stop today is going to be the museum itself, uh, which is actually, a, I've been here I think once before, um, years ago, but uh, it's, it's actually a really fascinating uh, museum that goes into the depth of the history of not just the battle itself, but the, the, the lead up to the battle, and then of course the aftermath of the battle, which, you know, everybody talks about just the, you know, what happens within the battles themselves. You don't think about the aftermaths, both politically, um, medically, things that go on after that, how long, you know, the battle might have been three days long, but in all honesty, the aftermath was days, months, and even years. So, but anyway, into the museum we go. So when you're going to go do the museum, uh, I believe it's about twelve seventy-five was what I paid. Um, you just get your ticket, and then you head over to the door, and they let you in. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the Gettysburg Civil War Museum. Well, that was actually really cool and rather sombering as well. Um, you know, there's a lot that you learn in there that is not just about the Battle of Gettysburg, but the lead up to it, and then of course what led to the end of the Civil War. So, but it is a, it was very enlightening. It was really cool. You know, it, there's a lot of things in there I didn't know about, um, including the fact that Gettysburg was not actually supposed to happen at Gettysburg. The battle was never supposed to take place there. It was just miscommunications uh, on both armies' parts, and then they just kind of like ran into each other. It's like, well, might as well, boys. Let's do this. So it is fascinating. But anyway, onwards to the next part and go check out the uh, area outside. Thank you. 
So one of the cool things that you get you can do here at Gettysburg um, is after you're done with the museum, uh, you can either take a bus tour, uh, which will give you a lot of more you know explanation, or if you don't have time for that, um, you can always do your own self-guided auto tour. They have maps that kind of give a map outline that runs even through the town, uh, and you got a lot of different spots. There's about 16 different major spots um, that you can pick and uh, a lot of places you can stop at and just like take pictures, uh, get a brief, brief rundown from the, uh, the map and some uh, historical little posts around as well as to what happened during the battle at that specific spot. So it's actually kind of a cool little thing. If you've ever actually studied the Battle of Gettysburg, um, the one thing that will always pop up um, more than almost anything else is, of course, uh, basically the, the the climax of the battle, which was the infamous or famous, depending on how you look at it, uh, Pickett's Charge. Now, there was actually about three charges that were all simultaneously done across this entire area. You had Pruitt's Charge, Pickett's Charge, and there was one other smaller one as well. Uh, but basically, um, they had the upper ground here, uh, and there was a lot more trees here, so there's like a cusp of trees uh, throughout this area. But uh, this uh, structure you see here, uh, this was this is basically what's left of what used to be just like a wall. And of course, Pickett's Charge was the one where they were coming across uh, basically through open ground. Uh, and of course just got bombarded with cannon fire, musket fire once they got close enough. It was basically a bloodbath and that was really the end of the battle when it came to um, the, you know, the Confederacy. Uh, now there is one spot which is right over here. This is like this area right here um, that's called uh, the Angle. And this is the one area within Pickett's Charge where they actually broke the line and they, you know, they, they took down a couple of cannons uh, before they were overwhelmed um, by the rest of the Union soldiers. But this was one area in Pickett's Charge where they actually did actually break the line, um, albeit for only a few minutes. But uh, anyway, just a cool little tidbit of information on that for you there. So behind me is the Soldiers Monument um, to the Soldiers of Gettysburg. I believe it was um, paid for by the state of Kentucky. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is this hill that it resides on um, is uh, be they believe the spot to be where Abraham Lincoln gave the, of course, the immortal um, Gettysburg Address, the four score and seven years ago. Um, so it's kind of a you know, it's a cool little spot. You know, the Lincoln Memorial is a little bit further down, but um, this is actually the spot, as they say, that Lincoln himself did the Gettysburg Address, which, of course, was a turning point um, in the war and, of course, in policy in the United States as well. But, uh, yeah, kind of cool. So that is the Gettysburg National Cemetery. Um, protected by the federal government. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful cemetery. It's got a lot of great um, memorials around. Um, even like the, the trees and everything are gorgeous during fall time right now. You got a lot of the leaves turning. It's a actually a rather nice picturesque site. Just, you know, be respectful. It is, of course, a cemetery. But um, it does also, it's rather humbling. It brings home, you know, the casualties of war and how big that can be. I mean, you have to think Gettysburg was a three-day battle and in total there was about 51,000 plus some odd casualties between both Union and um, Confederacy. It was just 51,000 people is a lot in three days. That's a lot. Uh, I do believe Antietam has the most in one single day, which was 23,000, but this was a three-day battle that uh, is just kind of, yeah, 
gruesome, bloody. I think I saw something about Business Insider once had an article that said that they were finding bodies, you know, in farms and stuff, digging up. Well, up until 1996, which is crazy, it shows you the extent of how, you know, chaotic and deadly that battle really was. So, 1996. Jesus, that's like, that's about 150 years after the battle, I think, right? Yeah, nuts. But uh, it had to be fought uh, at the time, sadly enough. Um, and hopefully, it never happens again. So, but anyway, now that all that sad stuff and all the history is all out of the way, let's go get something to eat. I'm hungry. All right, so I am at the Appalachian Brewing Company, which is uh, right in, in, pretty much right in the main center downtown area of um, uh, Gettysburg. And uh, got myself a nice little light lager beer. Hmm, <sighs> that's good. That's a very good beer. We're waiting for my food. I've got the uh, hog wild uh, sandwich coming. This is pulled pork sandwich. Um, Got my little number here. They got a nice little outdoor actually the seating area, which um, with uh, picnic tables and all that kind of good stuff, um, benches to just kind of sit and relax if you just have a drink. So it's actually a nice little spot, you know. Um, and on a day like this, you know, where the rain's gone, um, it's just you know it's about like 60 degrees. It's not bad, not bad. Particularly while after uh, all that walking I did, I could definitely use a beer and a nice pork sandwich. So yummy, yummy. Here it comes. So I got my hog wild sandwich, which is um, slow roasted pulled pork with um, their own house made root beer barbecue sauce. And then of course you also have, um, I'm gonna guess their own buns that they make because they do stamp it, as you can see, uh, which is actually kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. The bread looks fantastic. The pork looks, oh, oh yeah. Ooh, oh that's seasoned well. Let's get a bite of the sandwich, shall we? Mm. Mmm. Oh, that pork is super tender. That's really, really good. And barbecue sauce is nice too. That's um got a little bit of sweetness from the root beer, but you know it's not it's not super sweet, not overpowering. It's not really all that vinegary. That's it. That's just really, really nice. Ooh. Ooh, that in a glass sip of this beer. Mm. Okay. I'm getting re-energized. So, this is good. This is good. Ever in town, definitely check out the Appalachian uh, Trail Brewing Company. Amazing. Get that hog wild. Okay, so that is it for this adventure here in Gettysburg. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned a little something. And now I have to get back on the road before that hits me. So, yeah, time to outrace the storm. All right, guys, until the next time, Peace, guys, and have a wonderful evening. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.